Hi, so in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how you can add Google Tag Manager to your WordPress website. We'll also set up our first tag which will be Google Analytics and we're going to effectively replace the standard Google Analytics tracking code on our website. For the example I've got a simple small business WordPress website I've already taken off the Google Analytics integration code and we're going to add in Google, uh, Google Tag Manager instead. There's never been a better time to sign up for and use Google Tag Manager. It creates so much more flexibility over adding tags and um, code snippets to your website. It's almost doubled in popularity over the last 12 months alone. And I think that's uh, mainly down to the fact they've got a fantastic new um, UI which they released toward the end of uh, 2014. And also there's a fantastic training course available for free on the Google Analytics Academy. So I'm going to uh, sign up now and create a new account for my website. If you've not done so already, um, I'm going to set up an account then for this business. And I'm going to just use the name of the website as the container name. We're obviously being a WordPress website web application. And I'm accepting the terms, which is going to create our container and give us the code snippet that we need to integrate onto our website. Now unlike the Google Analytics tracking code which, you go, which goes just before the end of the closing head tag, we need to add this code to our themes um, uh, header area but just after the opening body tag. Now to do that you can open your website theme in the code editor or you can quite conveniently just use the editor within the uh, WordPress dashboard to integrate this code into the site. So I'm just going to head down to appearance and <coughs> excuse me, editor. And then I'm going to find the header file over here on the right hand side. Now, as I mentioned, I was previously um, adding the Google Analytics tracking code via WP head. If you're using like Yoast Analytics, you need to make sure you disable any plugins that add the analytics code for you or delete it from your file if it already exists. So here you can see we have the opening body tag and I'm going to quite literally paste our new Google Tag Manager tracking code immediately after the opening body tag like so and then I'm just going to update the file. Now what I can do to obviously check that that's taken effect is just view the source on the front end of the website and because that's the themes header file I also know that's obviously going to be coming out automatically on every page of the website. There we go. So now that that's installed, we need to set up our first tag for Google Analytics. Over on the left hand side, we can go to tags and create a new tag. But what we'll do first of all, which is really helpful for setting up any Google Analytics tags, is to create a variable. Now there's lots of built in predefined variables available, but for the purposes of Google Analytics, what we want to do is create a variable that we can reuse over and over again. And in this instance, we want to create a variable for our Google Analytics property ID. So in order to get our property ID, we can go to the property settings. And you'll see within the basic settings, we have our tracking ID just here. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to head back over to our variable. And I'm going to call this, uh, you can call this anything you like. So I'll call this GA. Um, tracking ID. We're going to use a constant variable from those that were available so that we can reuse this string of characters in our uh, Google Analytics tracking tags. So I'm going to paste the value in just there and we're going to create that variable. So just ensure that you take the correct tracking ID for your Google Analytics property for your website. So at the moment we only have, um, you can see here on the dashboard, one variable, no triggers and no tags. So in order to add Google Analytics tracking to our website, we need to add our first tag to do so. And the fantastic thing with the uh, Google Tag Manager is that we can create our own custom tag or choose from an existing well-known product like Google Analytics. Don't forget your name, to name your tag, I'll call this Google Analytics integration as an example and we obviously want to install the latest version which is the universal analytics tag 
And here's where our variable really comes in handy. So where we have configured tag and put the tracking ID in, you could obviously paste in your tracking ID like so, but because you may in the future, as you see in my later tutorials, need to reuse that tag, you can simply select it from the variable that we've already defined by clicking on the uh, sort of Lego brick icon. And that's going to insert for us our ID. Track type, page view, for now, that's all we need to do. So we push continue, and we then have the final choice of where would we like this to fire on. So we're tracking page views on every page of our website. So rather than being on specific areas, we can tick all pages, and we create the tag. So we now have everything in place in order to activate our first um, tag, which is our Google Analytics tracking. We've got the one tag and we have that one variable. I'm going to publish my changes to set those live. And what's also really great is if we wish, we can preview and debug our changes to the website. Now, the great thing with preview mode is that when we're over on our website on a different tag, we'll have the Google Tag Manager um, inspection panel appear and it is showing us, as you can see, which tags are firing on this page. And as I navigate my way around the website, we can see that the tag is firing each time successfully on the page. That's fantastic, so I'm just going to leave preview mode to leave our changes live. And then there's one final thing that I can do to ensure that the Google Analytics information is tracking correctly. So if I perhaps head over to the Meet the Team page of the website, you'll see that our Google Tag Manager preview box has been removed. If I go back over to the reporting view of Google Analytics and go to real-time tracking, we can see that I'm viewing the page right now, which is the Meet the Team page, so that we know that the tracking is working effectively with our new Google Tag Manager integration. Mm -hmm.